want to show you three different ways of pricing an estimate. I'm going to do one video showing two two different ways. Then in a subsequent video, I'll show you the third way. Um, I'm in an estimate right now, and if you look at, I'll just look at the wide flange. Um, I've got turned on right here um, certain fields that show me pricing that is already coming over. So the first way is you're already going to get pricing coming over whether you want it or not um, via the pricing maintenance. And that's what this is showing right here. So if I click on any of these, it shows me the 100 weight cost, uh, dollar amount, and then when that was actually priced. That is being driven, if I close that estimate and go into the setup by hitting edit here, you'll see right here under suppliers, it's pulling from this pricing maintenance. That's where that pricing is coming from. So you can also lock it in with a historic date here by putting in the date, like a bid date or whatnot to lock it in. But if I go over to um, the pricing maintenance and it's this warehouse option, and then I go to the wide flange and 89.92. That's where my dollar hundred weight is coming from. It's from all of these. Now I won't go into how to how to update this. It's um, uh, uh, kind of a different topic there, but just suffice it to say, you can global edit in here and change that pricing. Um, so that's the first place where your pricing can come from. Um, it's already just automatically going to flow through. Now, the second place you can do it, which is actually my preferred option, is by going to job-specific pricing maintenance. So if I estimate and drop down job-specific pricing maintenance, you'll see a screen identical to the pricing maintenance we were just in. But you also notice that there's no shapes there. So I can go up to the pricing drop down and select this add sizes from estimate. And when I do that, it gives me a list of all the sizes of material that are in my in my current estimate. Now I could bring over just say the 18 at 35s and just price those differently, and then the the um, dollar amounts coming over from the pricing maintenance are going to rule the day for everything else. But the 18 at 35s will be priced by whatever I put in here. Um, I'm going to bring everything over and price everything in the job-specific pricing maintenance. But just know you can select certain ones if you wanted. Um, one one reason for doing that might would be you're maintaining that pricing maintenance, but you're getting special concession on just 18 at 35s. So then you could just bring it over and and uh, put that uh, special pricing in for it. So I'm going to. Um, Go ahead and just bring everything over. Now, saying do you want to copy the prices, and what it's asking is if I want to copy the prices from the pricing maintenance and bring them in. So I'm just going to say yes, and you'll see now that all those sizes have come in. Flat bar I've got at 22, you can see, which is not a current price, obviously. Um, i got all my plate in here. It's at 25. It's not a good price, but all my beams are probably at a dollar. So let's say now that um, all my beams I've actually got at, say, $90 a hundred weight. So I'm going to global edit all the beams. I'm going to push over the grades, push over all the sizes, set amount, and I'm going to put that in at $90 a hundred weight. We'll hit save. And so now all my beams are priced at $90 a hundred weight. We'll change my flat bar. And let's go flat bar push the size and grades over there. Uh, we'll say $75 a hundred weight on it, and I'm going to do plate. We'll say, we'll global edit it and say, and there's only one size, which by the way, I could just come here and change here if I wanted to instead of global editing, which in this sense, this might make more sense on, uh, might make more sense here to just do this rather than global edit. So now, now that I have pricing in here, this pricing is going to trump anything that's in pricing maintenance now. The reason I like this is because it, it locks in those amounts. It trumps any anything in pricing maintenance. You can change whatever in pricing maintenance, and this isn't going to change at all. Um, plus, this is just a little bit more visible um, as well. I like being able to flip down through here and see the pricing rather than going to a report and bringing it up. Um, Either way works. 
Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to push this over to purchasing, get pricing there, and then also um, kick it back into the estimate.